Watch Destiny Matters here on REST TV, Thursday and Sunday nights with Pastor Charles Casabante. to be here at Destiny Matters. Of course, we stream live from the House of Inspiration Church in Mutundu, in a local road. You can visit us and be a part of the services uh, on Sunday and every other now and then. Check me out on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook and uh, follow us also on YouTube. Both there, Destiny Matters, House of Inspiration Church, but also you can follow up on Charles Casibante or Pastor Casibante on YouTube. It's always a blessing to be able to have this conversation. Join us in this conversation, and also if you want to be prayed for, you want to talk back to us, please join in. There's a number on the screen right now, and let's have a conversation. We always have a short time here, but you can always relay and talk back. I like people who are online. Uh, Pastor Kavanda, we love you. There's a Pastor Kavanda who's always following, and he comments radically. So thank you for commenting our online group the online following that is in saudi arabia that loves destiny matters god bless you uh, or the destiny matters uh, uh, fellowship and uh, boston chapter that loves to watch this program god bless you we we'll love you and of course coming up very soon in this summer will be the uh, our mega fest is coming up at destiny matters mega fest in the boston area but yeah so we have a conversation these men and women of god but pastor carol here particularly has been an, an academician. She has read books to masters, to almost PhD. No, but now she's busy preaching. <laughs> I think I, I need to go back and she may to balance you balance one. Oh, money! What do you get an employee to Mulimunzi? Do you know why church has produced more success people than schools? My God. My. Because we deal with practical issues of life. Yes. Schools deals with the theoretical issues of life. Yes. Yes. In, in fact, I, I like what T.D. Jack said one time. He said a preacher from a seminary, he, he, okay, he's not compared to a preacher from a cemetery. Yes. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Bible school. 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 Bible school. Yeah, 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 Bible school. Meaning, it is what goes ahead of you and breaks walls for you. Yeah. And it brings you before great. So, Pastor Kitega, I pose the chibozo. The chilabo, the chilabo, go chitemela, oba chichukutemela. Na endo oza. But endo oza, ne chibozo echo. Na endo oza, both things are correct. It's two way. Yes. Wali wo, e chisera, ruo vera mbola mo. Nga go ino kubile chilabo chekubo. Yeah. Go chikbudi renzi, jibana nge mfu uo mlele. But I am full of money. It is yet said I reach to Kango, Mulere, Guguita. And 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 also what Pastor is saying something important. And also what I've uh, what I've seen is is instead how do you make room for your gift? You make room for your gift by working on your gift and by sharpening it and by giving it excellence. If 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 you're a trumpeteer like this gentleman here, work at it. Sure. Be the best at it. Yeah. If you're a musician, sing like a bird. Do your best. Go through trainings and make sure that your gift is sharpened. Yeah. And when the moment your gift is sharpened, yeah. it will make room for you. Musuma Karo, on last week at at Destiny Matters at the when we were at yes. the at the convention, the at the fellowship, at the city fellowship. Yes. I shared a scripture. It is in Job 39. Okay. Um, the, the Bible says, um, wow. in verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that 
for uh, okay let, let's say this uh -huh. verses um, 13 yes the wings of an ostrich flap joyfully mm. though they cannot compare with the wings of or the feathers of a stork <laughs> she lays her eggs on the ground and lets the, and lets them warm in the sun unmindful uh, that a foot may crush them uh. that some wild animals may trample over them My in other words an ostrich is a bad parent yes it is terrible it lays eggs <laughs> <laughs> but look at verse number 17 for he says for God did not endure her with wisdom or give her a good share of good sense but verse 18 yet when she spreads her feathers to run she can laugh at a horse and a rider Ma. Ah, we need to learn to minister to our strength. Yes. You need to learn to feed your strength. Feed your strength. Feed the lion in you. Oh. Let that man in you, that the, the man of God in you, begin to be fed. Oh. For example, it is not just you. You may not go to hell for listening to world music, but I think it is at your own disadvantage. Yeah by feeding yourself with secular music yes, yes. because you want to become a great worshiper yes so what are you feeding what or, are you, or you feeding? know feeding all your so chetugamati making room for the gift is excelling in the gift feeding it feed the gift growing it yes i was talking to pastor ndugwa before the show and uh, and, we're, and we're talking about messi and and they say he trains five hours a day Every day. Yeah. Scripture a man is gift makes room. But not every gift makes room. Siguri chirabo, the chigenda kuguriz kuse guriza oba kuguri renziji. A gift none worked on yes. is equivalent to a no gift at That's all. Right. That's right. That's right. It's ineffective. Ali comfortable. Mm. By the time a gift opens a door ah. to usher you to greatness, it must have worked. It, it, it must, must have been worked on. A, 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 exactly. Worked on and then it works. Proverbs 22 verses 29. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen a man diligent. who is diligent My in God. his work? My God. A I man who adds skills to his men. work. I will show you. He will stand before, before great me. men. That's right. And not simple people. Not That's mere right. men. Not if mere I, men. I, I even love the NIV. It says <laughs> mean men. <laughs> mean men. That's the word. Mean yeah. men. And, and you know, Pastor, mm. one of the things I've realized was just because you're gifted, like Pastor said, yeah. room does not just come. Yeah. But this is what God does. If you have a gift mm. and is pushing you into mm. destiny, mm. this is why, because it's for his glory, mm. because he wants to release the fragrance of his knowledge through mm. the gift. Mm. So this is what he does. If you're not working at your gift, he will put you in a place where your gift has to be sharpened. For example, David had to remain in the field playing. What was it? Where was that? The, the harp. The harp. Yeah. He had to play the harp. People were not seeing the gift. People maybe were not recognizing the, the gift. But the, he was playing the harp by the, to sheep, by the, that, to gods. There's a question there. How did they even realize that when he plays the harp, demons can live? <laughs> did, did we talk about it last time? I think so. There is always a silent eye. A hey. silent eye that sees you. Why yeah, where is so? Mm. It is good we are talking about this. Mm. That they are our land friends. Mm. Because you think after school, the only option for you is, is an office. And yet God is saying, I put a gift in you. Sure. 
there's a singer in you mm. there's a preacher in you mm. and if office does not work maybe god is calling you somewhere to the field so that you can begin to preach to the you know uh, as i was growing up i used to hear my my spiritual parents say we learned how to preach in the field wow. yeah we learned how to preach in the field so would wake up go to the forest and preach before trees but as they were preaching there was a too. silent eye that, that was too. watching yeah and their gifts were being sharpened. It has a little bit of 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 a little bit now I'm amazed because we are talking about many things but there's one thing that also that is standing out when I hear you uh, speak uh, about the sheep I have heard many preachers when a preacher is beginning you know you are sheep we are sheep we are flock eh? God's flock yes but when a preacher stands to talk about sheep eh? listen to me by the way it has even been uh, realize, I think you're an educator, that that sheep actually has the same IQ as the, as you know, a human the cattle. Being. That's for another day. My point here is, God is, he's interested. I don't want to say he's not interested in the weakness, but he, the strength of the sheep yeah. are two things. Please note. It's ability to hear, yes. and it's ability to see. Those two things. And the Lord is like, ah, are you? Not any other animal. <laughs> but he's getting the strength. The strength of this ship. Yes, you can say, by the way, with a the ship, <laughs> they can follow each other down the cliff. Eh? Yeah. Down the cliff. They have That's that right. thing. But it's a strength. Yeah. It follows. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Seek to be relevant and to be needed. Exactly. To be wanted. To but, be wanted. But what you've just said, there's a prophetic moment right My now. My God. We prophesy in, in the, the name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Your gift will land in a place it shall be needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Amen. And uh, we, we, I know time is not with us. But, but this is very important. When, you, when the Lord spoke to you about this, he told you bringing the winner out. We would do injustice if we don't talk about the winner. What does it mean to win? It literally means to stand out. Stand out of the ordinary. To emerge extraordinary. Coming out beyond the normal. Now, how do we help someone with the gift to stand out? Because you can... But the time someone says stand out, that means there are others that are trying to be, to do, but you have to stand out, to step up, to be in front of them. But now watch this. Your gift will not cause you to win until you do a few things about your gift. Like we said, not every gift will open room. If you are going to cause your, your gift is going to cause you to be a winner, to bring out the winner in life, there are things you must do. Number one, perfect your gift. Yeah, yeah. Perfect your gift. Rionel Messi, Rionel, it took him 17 years, 114 days to become the Messi we celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> he spends four to five hours every day with a ball. He juggles the ball until the ball, the ball leaves the ground and enters into him. People don't want to spend time in the unseen realm. Preparation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we want exposure. Now, if you, want, uh, if you want exposure without preparation, you will dehydrate. And, and, and yeah. you see, you've spoken something. You know, I call this generation a microwave generation. Yeah. Popcorn. Microwave popcorn. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. And now, yeah, if you look at the time that it took God to prepare a man. Jesus was prepared for 30 years, for a ministry of three years. Of three years. Wow. But who has ever beat Jesus? He prepared him for 30 years to do a ministry of three years. I mean, he entered the temple hmm. and he knows where the scriptures are. My goodness. <laughs> Personal reading. Personal reading. What kind of a nonsense? They are preachers. But they are also preachers. And, wow. and, yeah. and, and, and you see, God takes time on greatness. Mm. Greatness is not born in a day. Greatness yeah. is made. Mm. And it is made in secret. Mm. And it is made in the hiding. Mm. And it is made in dungeons. It My is made God. in pits. My that God. is why I want to encourage someone. Mm. You may be in a pit. You may be in a dungeon. No one may be celebrating you. No one may be clapping for you right now. But you need to understand there is a gift that God is working on. That within, if you can just stay there and allow God to prepare the gift. If you can allow yourself to be teachable. Wow. We are not teachable. And God tells you go and sit at the feet of Pastor Charles. And say, I'm not going to be Wow. But God is saying, I see it. Mm, I am yeah. training it mm. because in the time of preparation, mm. God is sharpening the gift. Sure. He is causing you to excel such that when you go before the palace, mm. in the palace, yeah. before King Saul, when you enter the palace and you play the harp, demons will run. Praise God. Demons will run. Praise when a man tells you, I had a dream, can you imagine? Mm. 
Someone tells you I have a dream, but I don't even know what the dream was. <laughs> so your job is mm. to find, first of all, mm. the dream. Sure. Then get the interpretation, interpretation of, of the, the gift. Sure. Do you think that is made overnight? Aye, aye, that aye, does aye, not aye, come aye. overnight. Mm. It takes years. It takes aye. years of trimming, of preparation. I tell you, I will take a fake and original. <laughs> I will take a little bit of 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 a of these destiny helpers. Mm. I remember walking down here and you told me, Patrick of a little bit of a the destiny helpers. You saw something, maybe. I came a bit late because I, I, I dropped my boy and I picked up. I, I, was, I was coming here. Yeah. I saw Annette, Apostle Annette. And I'm like, she leaves that side, you know. And I told her, I told her, I don't know, I'm going to go But we were sharing. I'm like, where are you going? And I'm like, man, this man has helped our destinies. And I must honor the Lord for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God, praise Amen. God. Amen. Pastor Frank here yeah, has a lot to say tonight. But uh, we're we gonna <laughs> but, but you know what tonight? We're gonna close up on that point. The good thing, all of us here still have like about 70 more years to live. So we're gonna, we're gonna have more time to talk about these things to come. But I want to remind you every Thursday, 5 p.m., uh, we are in the, in the House of Rest building for a live fellowship. That meeting is changing lives. And uh, God is good. People are moving to the places of their, of their destiny. Don't miss to be there this Thursday. Plan to attend. Invite a friend to an, or another after, after your job. Join in in the name of our God. I'm, I'm going to let these men and women of God in 30 seconds each to proclaim a closing remark and a word of prayer on you because you are blessed beyond measure. Listen, I want you to understand even as we are in our closing uh, time, there is a winner in you. Don't let anyone convince you it is over. Something in you, somebody in you, that God has created to win this world. The Bible says whatever and whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Sure. Let me begin with Pastor Frank to speak parting words. Amen. Uh, I want to say this last. Um, winning in life is not a matter of chance, but choice. That's right. You are not going to go far if you survive by chance. Average men live by chance. Great people live by choice. You have to make a choice to win. And I want to tell you, it is not too late. If you can hear the sound of this voice, you can still win. What does it mean to win? To stand out. To, be, to, to come up front. To, be, to lead others. And I know the anointing of the Lord is coming upon you. To cause you to rise. To choose to win. And yes, you can win. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I, I just want to, to speak to our viewers. Mm. That uh, every winner that you see, every man or woman that you admire in life, mm. has failed at one point or another. That's right. Just because you have failed does not mean you're a loser. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but he keeps getting up. Winning is not the ability not to fail. Winning is the ability to get up, to rise up after you have failed. Sure. I want you to understand, dear viewer, that God is not through with you yet. Just because you have meandered off the road a little, just because you have fallen, does not mean that God has given up on you. You are a winner. Can I tell you something? God does not create losers. God does not make failures. God makes winners. And I speak to your spirit, to your inner man, to know regardless of what they have spoken to you, you need to understand that you are a winner. And God leads you in triumphant ways so that you can diffuse the fragrance of his knowledge. God bless you. And now the God of peace that brought again our Lord Jesus Christ the, by the blood of the eternal covenant. My God. 
that very great shepherd of our show. Yes, yes, Lord. Keep you, provide for you, lift you up. Yes. That you may do that which is well pleasing in his sight. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Have a good night. See you another time. Watch Destiny Matters here on REST TV, Thursday and Sunday nights with Pastor Charles Casabante.